Hey everybody, so um, I wanted to uh, let's talk about love for a little while here. So I just wanted to um, go around what love is right quick and break it down into a, a way that you can um, put your, <laughs> wrap your mind around it a little bit more in a mature way and then figure out the reasons why if you haven't hit any of these things you have um, maybe missed a really important concept of the ethos of what love is and then I wanted to leave you with a really fun thing to just think about for yourself right and so love right so this is what love is love is patient and love is kind if you're being kind if you're being patient then you are being love right these are the things that love does not do okay it does not envy it does not boast it is not proud it's not rude it's not self-seeking and it does not delight in evil yeah but what love does is rejoice with the truth so it feels out truth and then it's happy right this is what love will always end up doing right love always trusts love always hopes love always perseveres love always protects and with this that's what how you can tell if you are being correct to love and you are correctly loving because if you can always trust someone always hope always persevere with that person always protect them no matter what then you know that you are in the correct path. And the only way that you know that if you are living a life that is successful in love is that you never will fail in any of this. Your love will never fail. And so if you, which everybody has, has failed love in your life, then the one thing that you have, we are slowly developing in is the correct ethos about what love is and this is what love um, must be it must be above all things sincere and what is a fun f way to look at that is sincerity and sin there's sin is in sincerity and so why was that and how come it's all the ethos of love right is because in your sinful nature you are going to sin but what you do is the you you have r righteously um, enveloped your sin in a way that is a spiritual giving so you're not being false or you're not even being honest in your love you're being sincere and just a quick note about what sin is sin is doing something that is wrong but you don't know about it. You're in naivety. It's until a law comes and tells you that this is wrong, you need to do it this correct way, that you are no longer in the concept of being naive. You cannot be ignorant. So if you break that, knowing that you have to do something else that is right, that makes your sin a transgression. And when you transgress, that means you're not progressing or regressing. You are, complete, you are literally killing a part of your spirit that is of light into a darkness that looks like light because it's a great darkness and it's a light in you and then you slowly develop in this transgression thinking that it's the right thing and in the end it's not even sin anymore it's wickedness and the God of everything name of all names who is the God of love is also the God of hate because he hates wickedness right so you have to think about it that way so yeah that's what love is Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not rude, it is not proud, it is not self-seeking, it does not delight in evil, it, do, it keeps no record of wrong. Love will always rejoice with the truth, it will always protect, always trust, always hope, and always persevere. You can tell if you're going to be in love by doing love correctly, is love will never fail, and if you have failed love, then reflect on what happened between if you were giving it or if someone wasn't receiving it, and you can see um, what look for where it was insincere or there was sincerity and then develop knowing feeling breathing living thinking smelling what sincerity is so that it becomes a second nature because that's an awesome fruit of the spirit so that's what I want to impart about loving correctly and then also this the concept of a question I wanted to ask doesn't it really have an answer it's just your own personal answer but so say that love was a person and hate was a person and hate Hate was in agony when it was loved. Would love then hate out of love? 
<laughs> so yeah thank you for listening love one another bye